Mother, do they call to me? Kratos is back. Somehow. Years after destroying the Greek world, now more weathered and somewhat mellow in the faraway lands of Norse mythology, he must battle his way through yet another set of gods on his way to completing his quest while trying to be somewhat of a normal father and raise his son. When it comes to the story of God of War, all I can say is wow. I did not come into this game really expecting much, but what I got was an incredibly deep and fulfilling narrative with heartwarming and fun moments, as well as all the action-packed grunting and murdering fans of the series have come to expect. Everything from the well-paced development of every character's arc and backstory, to the plethora of series callbacks to its more rigid button-mashing beginnings, are sure to make any longtime fan giddy with the most genuine of glee. gameplay it feels just so perfect for what this game needs to be moving forward it manages to drag you in and keep you firmly enthralled at all times gone are the days of this being a button masher's dream or a hack and slash nightmare god of war has truly evolved from a game filled with data mechanics into a game filled with dark souls-esque combat and open world puzzle design other welcome changes to the game include the ability to equip kratos with different styles of armor that add to your stats, the ability to travel through the nine realms of Norse mythology, and a whole host of rewarding side quests that surprisingly don't feel repetitive or boring. What do you get when you take the creative license that a mythological setting gives you? What everyone imagines countries like Norway, Sweden, and Denmark would look like in an Asian setting, and the power of modern gaming. That's right. You get one of the most beautiful skyboxes and environments ever seen in video games, as well as a host of equal parts amazing and terrifying monsters, like this fire troll for instance. To sum it up, everything looks amazing. The landscapes, the characters, the monsters, this giant turtle that doubles as this lady's house. It's all great. While other installments in the series aren't exactly known for having an awe-inspiring soundtrack or amazing voice acting, beyond Kratos' grunting. This game truly changes everything that was God of War. The voice acting is top notch and how it brings Kratos across as a character with a meaningful and foreseeable arc. That instead of relying on anger alone to fuel his murderous rampage, the game takes us down his current track of being a beaten down man who just wants to raise his son in peace and fulfill his wife's last wish. God of War is one hell of a game. Everything is near perfect in the way it hooks the player in. From its engaging storyline to combat to its awe-inspiring visuals of the beautiful Norse landscape, all these help to establish this game as a true masterpiece of modern gaming. And a reason for anyone who hasn't yet to go out and pick up themselves a PS4 or PS4 Pro so that they can experience this game in all its gruesome and beautiful glory. I would score this game 10 out of 10 and I would destroy this mythological setting again. Thank you for watching.